Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54. First round match between Toto Frias and his Chaos and this way up and his Chaos. This way up is an alt, but I can't remember who it is. Um, two really nice teams. The Chaos have got a Wizard. Uh, strength 4 Claw Pommer. Strength 5 Bow, but defenseless, so he's going to get Claw Pommed out. First chance uh, Toto Frias gets. Uh, pretty nice ball and a really nice ball carrier. So yeah, really two really nice teams here. But yeah, the the chaos. <laughs> He's got claw mighty, claw mighty, claw pom with tackle, claw pom without tackle. So yeah, there's a lot of claw and a lot of strength and a lot of guard. So the Chaos team are definitely Raudia. But you know there are there are poms on the Chorfs, as much as they haven't they've only got one core pom. They have got poms as well, so maybe they can pom the AV8 when they get the chance. Doesn't pile on. Honestly, if you're not gonna pile on there, then you probably shouldn't even be blitzing, right? <laughs> like if you're gonna greed reroll it to not pile. That's not good. I'm not saying that not piling is, isn't correct, right? Because if you pile, maybe you get fouled out. But... Like, you know, you've got to consider if you're going to get fouled out if you pile. But then don't greed it, right? If you're greeting anything, it has to be for... Okay, now, now I'm bamboozled. Now I am flipping bamboozle. Two claw pommers and blitzes with claw mighty. Oh, okay, the, the dirty players here. Okay. Yeah, there's a dirty player there. That's fair enough, actually. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, that's fair, right? There's, there's a dirty player that hiding back here. Hmm. Oh wow, they're being very cagey, aren't they? Protecting the claw pom and the dirty player now. This uh, This bull is stranded. But, the, you know, he's already established that he's scared of the dirty player, so he's not going to pile on him, is he, I guess? Maybe he's not piled so that this way up thinks that... So maybe Total Freeus didn't pile so that this way up thinks that Total Freeus is scared of the dirty player so that he'll be a bit freer with exposing players so that he can get a better player to pile on. 3D chip, no, 4D chess. There you go. <laughs> okay, maybe he's just not going to pile on because he's scared of DP. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't need a pile on, just instant death. <laughs> instant death, app or fail. Wow. Well, there you go. It's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> Gentleman's agreement to not pile all game, yeah. Yeah, that's also an option. Swarm in here with a strengthened guard. Lock them down. Yep, yeah, that looks pretty good. Don't say it's over. Oh, and a removal from the skillless dude. Well, I say skillless, you know, no kill skills. Regular blow. <laughs> I love it when Rick says regular blow. I think I ought to put the, the guard over here, right? Because at the moment the strength 5 is exposed. And I'd rather, I'd rather have the guard on the other side there. Doesn't it hit him? Because 
could have killed the strength five. Oof. That all kind of works. So it's out for this game, but at least he's uh, only missed next. He gets the 1D pal. Now, because uh, because this wheel has been so chicken, <laughs> you have to pile on this guy to, so that he keeps scared of the piling, right? You absolutely have to. Very lethal, yep. Yeah. That ball's gone. Turn three. Claw on hits coming in. Pile on. Removed. Has to uh, put the warrior in here. Yeah. Otherwise, the uh, DP it's even easier. Flip me. Yeah, and quite quite good crowding around the uh, strength four. But he he can still two D this lad, can't he? Oof. Yeah, the gloves are off. Okay, yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, that's really nice, isn't it? Chain him to get the cloak on him. Lovely. Lovely play there. In this way. Oh. Gets the removal. That's what I did with Studman. Oh man, the replay of my game between Studman is so funny and fun though. We had like, well, actually he had a, like a horrendous min-max team. And I had basically just a few skills, like about a five-game old team. And we ended the match with like three players on the pitch total. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> the most fun I've ever had playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was incredible, honestly. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Well, this is a very stretch, but only one ball. Like, and it, it's a crap ball, so it's not. This is tough, isn't it? Tough for the chore. It's going to be tough for the chores to keep hold of this, really. Lack of strength, lack of movement. Both, is it eight aside? Yeah, eight aside. <laughs> I have had fun. Uh, I have had fun playing the ball goes on. And here's the big hit, isn't it? Here is the big hit. Don't know why he hasn't stood up the warrior yet. Doesn't follow! Are you shitting me? <laughs> what? I mean, okay, he's right next to the DP, but come on, man. Come on, man. It's it's a string four pommer. Oh wow. And the next the next claw might hit makes a cas. <laughs> 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 
fucked it up. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta pile that. <laughs> now the DP might just cas him by punching him. <laughs> he stuns him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> it's quite nice, like, obviously having a strength 4 controlled by the strength 5, but... Still, you just gotta, you've got to call from there. Four. Look, this guy's even called Giant Claw. He's made two cars, this fucking shithead block tackle guy. <laughs> The core bombers are re refusing, refusing to pile on while this guy just casually murders the whole team. <laughs> yeah, you won't regret the pylons you didn't make. <laughs> Brilliant. You only missed the core bombs you didn't take. There you go. Oh, you miss every pile on you don't take. That's right. Isn't it? I can't help it. Yeah, glorious claw, and claw violence. Whoever wins this might not be in good shape. <laughs> good turn, though, in the end from this way up, wasn't it? To uh, get this little... Uh, pretty good play from, like, you know, milling around a midfield and looking pretty lost to uh, getting pretty, pretty far forward. The problem is for the Chaos, they've got nobody who can foul. <laughs> they've got like this one rookie. <laughs> nobody else can even foul. The team's too good. The team's literally too good to foul. Oh, going for the 4 3. Yeah, that's probably, probably the best he was going to get, wasn't it? Yeah, that was probably correct. 4-3 for a 1-D. <laughs> yeah, it really is suffering from success. Wow. And still got the wizard in pocket, so in the end, a great half, really, for, uh, for this wheel. Gets the good bull back. A useful bull. I mean, the strength five is kind of good, right? It's just not very useful. It can't dodge. It hasn't got block. It's a bit shit, even though it's strength five. Not really. <laughs> oh, yeah, the bench that's come on, yeah. But no, not really. Three, six, nine players. <laughs> nine players. And the one guy who could foul stays out. <laughs> <laughs> he might he might come back though, he might come back. And he's got the old double LOS. And there's nine so they bo both teams have nine players on the pitch and one guy knocked out. But Total Freeus has the, the great double LOS. Yeah, you'd hope so. Does only makes it a two D instead of a three. <laughs> Gotta make that three. Oof. <laughs> Make this one a three at least, but like it's more important to make that one a three, isn't it? Because this is the uh, this is first of all he's got a defensive skill and second of all he's a chuff. So hey, he gets a cast. Still possibly nine versus nine though, if the uh, chuff comes back and he stays out. Let's find out. Beast is back. Fouls are on the menu. 
Chove stays out, so it's 10 versus 8. With the LOS to come. Pretty scary for this way up. Pretty hard to not have good players exposed now. Has to has to protect the, the claw pom and the carrier, right? Yeah. I mean they're already in trouble, aren't they? Ten versus eight, but I mean could be two removals. Or three. <laughs> Four. Yeah, it was risky for both of them, right? Risky for both of them. The, the chaos, like only having twelve versus, uh, you know, claw pom pom, mighty pom, right? You know, this this chaos team is plenty rowdy if he if he rolls well. I got to think about chaos, chaos, isn't it? Like they are worse than the bash teams against bash teams. Like in bash mirrors, they're worse than than the he real heavy teams. But um, they can still just high roll, right? They've still got plenty of claw pom and pom, so it's, they've got plenty of high roll chances versus the bash teams. Yeah, the cares only had twelve. Yeah. Yeah, so it was. Maybe, maybe like they had a sacking wall to try and deny the uh, wizard, something like that. That's a removal. Should have should blitz with this guy. <laughs> this is the most dangerous man on the team. <laughs> Mistake, mistake, big mistake by Toto Frias there. You gotta, you gotta, oh wow, well, yeah, that was just blitzing for the sake of it, that was a mistake as well, like double GFI is so likely to just fail. Just, just put him in front of the ball here. You just don't have a blitz. Or blitz for the warrior who hit last or whatever. But, but this guy should have been your blitz, the block tackle guy, he's the most dangerous man on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> and there's definitely no fouls for the chaffs now, so we should see copious amounts of piling on. If you can get any knockdowns. <laughs> isn't it? Can't stand the claw pommer to be hit by the other claw pommer. So yeah, that was some bad dices. Gonna dodge that? I think I've just left him down. Dodge is fine, I guess. There's the pal. Pile on. <laughs> Even with no players, got the pile on because you. <gasps> because you've got to try and high roll yourself back into the match. And that's how you do it. You're killing the strength five. Flip me. Boah. This is the craziest thing about all the Crucis teams, right? He always gets like an unbelievable core of war uh, chalk blockers uninjured, and then like this this team has one game, and it's like oh, massive death on both sides. Dead, 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 dead. Yeah, 
yeah, really regretting not piling on this strength 4 now here, because if he piled then he might have cast him and then uh, this guy wouldn't have died. I like making this 3D with a man advantage. And like working them into ball protection as well, very nice. Gotta be a bit wary of the balls aren't being so fast, but should be alright. This is foul as stunned. <laughs> Again, I'll probably just leave him down here, right? Because like because you're men up and he's got so few players, like if he wants to leave a guy marking him, then that's like that's kinda of crippling his defence, so you're getting him like dodging for free next turn anyway, like kind of. <laughs> Oof. The greed. Which again is completely justified, right? Piling on armor eight, not terrible. Oh, you gotta pile on there, though, buddy. You gotta pile on there, buddy. If you're gonna win this game, you gotta get lucky. Seven versus eight, nine, seven, yeah, nine versus seven. Reroll comes in now, they're both going, they're both going ham. Yeah, the gloves off power rerolls are great, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he would have still been on the pitch, but the ball would have been gone, so... I guess you can argue it was all right. Hasn't there really been an opportunity for a whiz, has there, for uh, this wheel? That's an interesting point. Maybe he should have thought about more about like getting the balls around. and Maybe this turn he bolts. Has he forgotten he's got a whiz? Could have bolted and got like the bull round. <laughs> yeah, you should have bought more apples. I don't think apples would have made much difference to be fair. You can still, well, with a follow up, make the ball hit less good. Could have hit the ball though. But then what? So what? You just get your, you just get your bull centaur claw pump afterwards. But still, if you hit the ball, you know, and then you've got the wizard to try and disrupt, like, you 1 0 up, right? It's the chorfs. So, you haven't got many players. You've got to think about ball and whiz action to actually stop the touchdown. There's the chaos, you've got to think that they can do that. But yeah, good piling on this time. Next turn is the, uh, is the yeah, probably a fireball. We probably need a fireball at this stage. Bolts. Gets the stun. Claw bomb hit, but not a blitz that, uh, you know, try and get involved in the ball. Oh, he kept break tackle. I mean, if that's your plan, then you probably just blitz this guy, right, and get strength 5 up there. Make it a little harder to deal with. I'll pick it up here. Yeah. No, who cares if you fail, right? Oh well. No follow! 
No, fall all. What is this? <laughs> Still an instant, nearly instant 2D on the ball. There we go. Oh my god. Well, now the not piling on looks genius, doesn't it? Flip me. I mean, it didn't protect the ball at all, though, did it? Total free us. You know, like, he wasn't, he wasn't protecting the ball. <laughs> but now he was, yeah. He, I, obviously, you put him there because you knew he'd catch it. Wow. Wow. One, two, three, four. I mean, to score this turn? But we got to. Oh my god, Le Double scores. I don't mind not piling on here. <laughs> but this is the first one. <laughs> yeah, diddle please. But, I mean, this is pretty easy to get 2D on the ball. I guess it's pretty easy to take it back on the last turn as well. There's so few dwarves left. Oh, he doesn't even get to uh, Doesn't even get to try the 4-3. I mean, maybe he shouldn't have made a 1-9 block, right? Maybe he should have just gone for the 4-3 straight away. On this tackle on the first one. Could have gone in the sideline, right? I was actually, this guy, I mean, he had to do the, he had to do the blitz first. I mean, it still failed, given the dice, but... Um, could have gone one, two, three, four, right? Maybe get in the crowd, and then maybe pick it up and run in the corner was the play, I think. In Blood Bowl 2, a while out. It was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was already like less popular last season. And it'll just be getting worse now. Wow, all the chaos stay out. Maybe the people, um, maybe the people complain about not getting games with high CV. I mean, I haven't tried to spin the ball too for it. No! The best, the best beast man has been KO'd. Still anyone's game, right? It's if the if the KOs come back for the chores and they win the toss, they've got a chance. The chaos stay out. Only one comes back for the chores, but this is still, this is pretty close, though, isn't it? Players. Who wins the chaos? Win the toss. 
flip me six. Okay, I thought the Chaos had more than six. Okay, I didn't realise how few players the Chaos had. Flip me. Flip me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> For some reason, I thought like the Chaos had eight and might have gone up to ten, but no. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's been crazy, hasn't it? Crazy game. Flip me. Deaths on both sides. <laughs> Cheering fans, very helpful for when you feel realize. I mean, the side with the bulls is like really good, isn't it, when you're down a few players? Bulls are so good. You got a blitz for 2D. <laughs> so the strength five is re really good, even though he's in a mobile ball. Yeah, can't foul now, no. No, nobody can foul now. Well, he can, but he probably shouldn't. Instant full pal. Pylon. Pussy. <laughs> no, he's a strength four. He's fair enough, not pylon. Oh, wow. That is pretty greedy, but might be the right play, to be fair. Three rerolls. If he can... If he can if you can, like, you know, take him out, it's almost GG, isn't it? He has left a bit of a break on down the side here. Yeah, I was thinking, does he GFI twice to get in range? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Imagine if he kept the ball back as a safety. Flip me. Yep, really nice. Um, right, so this bull... He's already moved him, hasn't he? So he could have moved him to here. I mean, oh, he's stand firm. Shit. So he's got a double dodge, right? Well, triple dodge. No, he can just pow him. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's got a double dodge. Yeah, never put your never let your bulls touch. That's what you've got to do. Never let your bulls touch. Because they've got such a spread. Oh my god. <laughs> Christ. See pile on every time. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty flipping unlucky. <sighs> but this isn't this isn't stopping the score, right? He had, he had to go for the uh, even if he pals in there and like gets something in front, it's too easy for the uh, players to just roll some dice. All dice they do. There you go. Wow. What a match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's rough, isn't it? It's rough. It was a hell of a game though. And at least like you you know, you gave as good as you got and like uh won. So there's some compensation. But um yeah, brutal. 20 AV race to 16. Unbelievable. 3 cars, 4 kill. 5 cars, 4 kill. 2 deaths, 1 death. That was a hell of a match. Hell of a match. Glorious. Oh, yeah, the chaos are fucked. <laughs> the chaos are absolutely fucked now. But hey, at least you, at least you won the uh, at least you won the match. But um, 
Yep, uh, commiserations to this way up. And congratulations, kind of, <laughs> to the great Toto Frias. That is one occasion where the chalice equity was absolutely sunk by the uh, by the match in hand, wasn't it? But there you go. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.